The breaking news is that Shot City has a new gun. Welcome to Shot City! Hey guys, Shot City here. I've got some Glock 21s for you as promised. This is the range day for the Glock 21 Gen 5. So again, let's go over some features. Uh, this gun versus the Gen 3. So you got front serrations, you got your back serrations. This one is MOS optics cut. You've also got night sights on this gun. Uh, you got rid of the finger grooves that were there before. So these finger grooves are gone. It's nice and flat. You got some added texturing to the gun. Ambi uh, slide release and uh, Ambi magazine release as well. Uh, updated trigger and you've got an updated barrel in this gun. So let's get to it. I've talked enough about this gun. I'm ready to shoot it and you're ready to see it. <laughs> All right, let's load it up. 13 round of 45, here we go. Let's load up another mag. Let's see if I can hit the dome. Anything else still standing back there? Not really. All right, that's it. I can say for sure that this one shoots a lot smoother than the Gen 3 version. Um, the Gen 3 version, you definitely feel it push your hand and snap you a little bit more. But I mean, overall, it feels very Glock-esque. I do like the updated trigger a lot. Um, I like the MOS cut, so I may put an optic on this, and I love the night sights. All right, hey guys, Shot City here. Just wanted to do a post shooting review on the Glock 21 um, Gen 5. So, versus the Gen 3, I'm going to say that this gun is a way smoother shooter. It could be the double recoil spring. Um, it's definitely got something to do with this grip, not having the finger grooves, uh, the original, uh, finger grooves. This is the gen three. You can see that it definitely thickens the gun up a little bit. Uh, those finger grooves definitely thicken the gun up. So it's nice not having those. And then also, um, it just makes the grip a little more like streamlined and easier to hold on to while shooting also um definitely can feel the difference in recoil spring uh on this gen 3 versus the gen 5 the gen 5s come with the double recoil spring so i was definitely able to tell the difference while shooting um other things the trigger the trigger is way more smoothed out on the gen 5 versus the gen 3 
Um, and then, you know, like the magazine well and stuff, I wasn't really able to tell much difference with that. But then also the Gen 5 that I have has the Mariglow Night Sights on it. So definitely was able to acquire the target a lot easier with the Mariglow Night Sights. So overall, um, I would rate the Gen 5 probably as being um, about 40% better than the Gen 3 in my opinion. Um, nothing wrong with the Gen 3. Like I said, I shot that gun a lot. I enjoyed it, but overall my pick is going to be the Gen 5 for now on and pretty much that's across the board with Glocks with me right now. Gen 5s are ambidextrous, they don't have finger grooves, um, and they have that smoothed out trigger. Now they do have, you know, upgraded magazines and barrels, but I can never really tell the difference on, you know, why that was such an important change, especially the barrel, but I do shoot the Gen 5s better, so if that means anything. But just want to give you guys an update on this gun because I said I would uh, as far as the shooting so overall I'm loving the Gen 5 Glock I have no complaints about the Gen 3 really other than the grip was really big but um, that could just be my issue I could have you know medium sized hands where somebody else with larger hands loves that Gen 3 but I uh, just wanted to Give you guys that quick shooting update and uh, appreciate you all. Thanks for watching. Shot City.